Today, we will learn about the different parts of plant, and also their life cycle. Stay until the end to test your knowledge. If you need to go back and review, there are chapter links in the description. Plants come in many shapes and sizes. Some are tall like trees, while others are small like flowers. They can be colorful like roses or green like grass. Let's begin by learning about the different parts of a plant. One of the main parts of a plant are roots. These are like the plant's feet. They're usually hidden underground and they hold the plant in place. Some plants, however, have their roots above ground. Roots also do a super important job of drinking water and taking in nutrients from the soil. Nutrients are like special food for trees and other living things. Together, water and nutrients help the plant grow big and strong. Next, we have stem. The stem of a plant is its body or trunk. It stands tall and proud, holding up the leaves and flowers. But it's not just a support system, it's also like the plant's highway. It carries water and food from the roots to the rest of the plant. Another part of plants are leaves. Leaves are like the plant's kitchen. They use sunlight, carbon dioxide from the air, and water from the roots to cook up a special kind of food for the plant. This food-making process is called photosynthesis. Leaves come in all shapes and sizes, and they're usually green because of a pigment called chlorophyll. Some plants have flowers. Flowers help plant to reproduce and make more of themselves. They come in many shapes, sizes, and colors, and they're really good at catching the attention of bees, butterflies, and other insects. Why? Because flowers have an important job, to make seeds. When insects visit the flowers, they pollinate the flowers. To pollinate is to transfer pollen from one flower to another flower. This process helps the flowers make new seeds, which can grow into new plant. Another main part of plants are seeds. The seed protects the baby plant inside, and also provides it with food while the baby plant is still small. A seed can be as small as a speck of dust or as big as a walnut, depending on the plant. When you plant a seed in soil and give it water and light, it starts to grow into a new plant. Finally, some plants have fruits, just like this tomato plant. Fruits are like the plant's way of protecting the seeds. Inside fruits like apples, oranges, and kiwis, you can find seeds. When animals or people eat the fruit, they might accidentally spread the seeds, helping new plants grow. Every part of a plant has a job to do, to help the plants survive and grow. Together they make plants one of the coolest things in nature. Now, let's talk about life cycles. Human, animals, and plants go through life cycles. A life cycle is a series of stages a living thing goes through during its life. For a plant, it starts with a seed. Imagine the seed as a baby plant inside a protective coat. The seed contains everything the plant needs to grow. When a seed gets the right conditions, like water and sunlight, it begins to sprout. This is called germination. The seed coat cracks open, and a tiny root starts to grow down into the soil, while a little stem pushes upward. As the plant grows, it becomes a seedling, it has a tiny stem with a few leaves. The leaves help the plant to make food from the sunlight through a process called photosynthesis. The seedling will grow taller and bigger. It develops more leaves, stems, and branches. This is when the plant is considered a mature plant. Many plants can grow flowers once they are matured. Flowers are like the plant's way of making babies. They're often colorful and smell nice to attract insects and birds. These visitors help with pollination, 
which is how plants make seeds. When a bee or butterfly visits a flower, they might pick up pollen, which is like plant dust. When they visit another flower of the same kind, some of that pollen rubs off and helps the flower make seeds. This process is called pollination. After a successful pollination, the flower turns into a fruit. Inside the fruit, seeds develop. Sometimes, the fruit is tasty and attracts animals, which eat the fruit and spread the seeds when they create animal droppings in a new place. The plant life cycle is a magical journey from a tiny seed to a big strong plant that can make new seeds to continue the cycle all over again. The next time you see a flower or eat a piece of fruit, remember the incredible journey it took to get there. Wow! We're at the end of the lesson. Let's do a quick review before we test your knowledge. There are six main parts of a plant. Roots Stem or trunk Leaf Flower Seeds And fruit Plant life cycle has seven main stages. Seeds Germination Seedling Mature plant Flower Pollination And fruit you're all set to take the quiz. Round one. There are six numbers labeled on the picture. Let's start from the number one and say out loud the plant's part. Number one. Flower. Number two. Fruit. Number three. Seeds. Number four. Leaf. Number 5. Stem or trunk. Number 6. Roots. Round 2. There are 7 numbers labeled on the screen. Let's start from the number 1 and say out loud the name of the stage. Number 1. Seed. Number 2. Germination, number three. Seedling, number four. Mature plant, number five. Flower, number six. Pollination, number seven. Fruit. You're fantastic! I have so much fun learning with you! If you enjoy our video, please click on the like button, and also subscribe to our channel. It will encourage us to make more videos.